right, guys. Welcome, 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 welcome. We're here on our first podcast. We've got George Tracy from Mesquite, Nevada with us today. How you doing, George? I'm doing good. How you doing? I'm doing great. Hey, look at guys. Uh, what we're doing today, we're just, uh, you guys want to know more a little bit about my, uh, about me and stuff. So we brought in a guy that has basically, we grew up together. We, um, we uh, went to kindergarten. We went, uh, oh my gosh, we've been together since, la- until the last six years, I think, right? Something like that. Yeah. So it's been uh, a while. Okay, looks like he's he's got his kitty in the in the camera here view. What's your kitty's name? Luna. Luna. Okay, Luna's there. Do we want to start off with? Well, let's start. Th- 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 let's just start off with kindergarten or work our way up. I guess I think that would be good. That's what I'm saying, you know, where we met, how we met, you know. Oh God, you you have more information on that than I do. I mean, my guy, I just remember we were in kindergarten. All I, all I remember is I was I had moved from my grandma's house to where I was and right. new school. Right. I had no idea who who I you know who I'd run into, and we uh, were at lunch and we were assigned lunch duty. Yes, we. And, I remember that. And then me and you just got talking and. We decided that after lunch we would uh, decide to raid the milk cartons. And, uh, <laughs> yes, we did. And I remember we were talking, and it was after after our lunch, so we already had milk and cookies. And I remember that. And then I remember right after that, we got talking, and the teacher went to the office or somewhere. She went up the hallway. And we ran into the room. We knew where the cookies were. We knew where the milk was. We opened the fridge. We grabbed, what, five or six cartons of milk. We we grabbed, oh, my gosh, we grabbed I don't know how many cookies. And then we took off out the back door where the kindergarten was, and we went by a big shade tree, and we sat there and ate them in, like, 20 minutes. So that was was our first, uh, that was our first, uh, oh, my gosh, our, Series of getting in trouble after all. Yeah, right. <laughs> Series of getting in trouble. All right. Now, let's see. We had, um, I don't re- remember very much after that. I remember, what well, was it, about fifth or sixth grade after that. Now, now we had school all together. We, uh, George. We went through, uh. Elementary through high school. Right. He went, he, he he didn't have to walk as far from, um, what was that school we went, Marlon Hills. He didn't have to walk as far as I did, and I usually got picked up, so we really didn't get to walk home or anything. Uh, besides that, uh, what was it? It was your aunt in her room. I think I had the, uh, was it Bertel, Bergelson, Ber, Bertelson? Was that your aunt? Oh, you're talking about her. You're talking about our third grade teacher? I don't know, third, fourth? It was fourth or I thought it was fifth. You was our third grade teacher. Yeah. And, yeah, I think it was. I, I I thought it was more fourth, but okay. Anyway, and, third. And, and so um I remember he's he's getting a little old in his uh Yeah, yeah, I'm getting a little old. But anyway, I remember um I remember sitting there and uh I, I, she was coming back to the office. The whole class was there. And I said, oh, here comes Mrs. Hamburger. Hurry right down and sat down. Well, I guess my voice was loud and she heard me. And off the office I went. Yep, off the office I went. And I didn't know I didn't know until later that that was George's aunt. Or was it your aunt? It was my aunt. I, yeah. I didn't know that either. And uh, so I ended up getting more in trouble than probably Shane did when right. I got home. Right. You know, because... I know Mrs. Bergeson sitting in my driveway talking to my dad, and I'm like, what is my teacher doing here? And he goes, <laughs> oh, she's just dropping something off. And I'm like, no, she's here to get me in trouble. What the heck right, are, you, right. are you talking to her about? And he goes, that's my sister. And I'm like, really? Are you kidding me? That's your yeah. sister. Yeah. That we've been teasing and giving a hard time to because we were little, little hellions. 
right? And that, and he goes, "Yep, I heard about the the hamburger incident." And I'm like, "Oh, great." <laughs> yeah. He goes, he "Goes, you're grounded." I'm like, "For what? <laughs> Why did I get grounded? I wasn't the one doing anything." It seemed like when Shane got in trouble, I got grounded. Oh yeah. Vice versa. Oh yeah. So if I got in trouble, Shane got grounded. Right. So it didn't matter. We it didn't matter what we did. Ground- yeah, it didn't matter what we did. It didn't matter. It, it was like it was like Shane. I'm grounded. Well, so am I. Hey, I know. It takes a lot. So th- th- there was years. I guess if you put all the groundings together, there was years we never saw each other. Oh my gosh! If we were combined, if we were combined years based on prison sentence, we would have done life sentence, dude. Oh, oh, definitely, definitely, yeah. <laughs> At least you know, four four years of being grounded with this guy. The only other thing I remember about Bergeson was we were walking home and we saw a can of Bergie beer. Beer, yep. Yeah. Remember that? We ended up picking it up and setting it on her desk in exchange for you know how they people would give uh, an apple. Nope, we put the beer on there because <laughs> we thought it was fun. Okay, taking alcohol to school, bad thing. Okay, <laughs> don't do it. <laughs> I wonder if she drank it. I don't know. It was a full can know. of beer, guys. It was, uh, you do that now and everybody goes to jail. So anyway. So anyway, and then we came up to, what was it, junior high? And, and, and guys, look, at we're, we're just hitting on a couple things. We're not, we're not telling everything. Oh, my God, that'd take forever. We'd have, we'd have like a book. Then we hit junior high. We, we, we could probably do podcasts, and that's pretty much it. It'd be just the podcast of our antics, and you know, right, would happen. Right, right. Like, content. Oh we yeah. Went, you know. So what do you? Re- so what do you remember in junior high? Do we remember everything? Anything? I, I I remember the school got broke into. That's all I remember. Uh, all I remember in junior high is you played the tuba. And I baritone. Played the saxophone baritone. In band. Yeah. You know, remember that? I remember that much. Um, I remember uh, Mr. Goody, our history teacher. Mr. Goody, yeah. Um, There's not very much. I mean, we really, like I said, we didn't. Every time we got to go hang high, out, we get in trouble. Huh? Yeah. Junior high, we really didn't do too much because I think we were too involved in band and all that other crap, right. you know, and. Puberty. Uh, well, yeah, yeah, never dude. mind. We, oh. we won't even go there because that's where we did get I, in trouble with uh, the neighbor. I remember we snuck out once. I think you were coming home with me that day, and we 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 headed out through the art department and grabbed clay. I remember we grabbed clay. We grabbed a big old hunk of clay out of the out of the pot or whatever the heck it was. And we rolled them in little balls. Uh, yeah, we're a bunch of vandals, guys. Yeah, we, and, and, we anyway, threw them on, we threw them on windows. And yeah, on, on the way home, we we make little balls and throw it, and thung, it would just stick to the window. And uh, we did about I don't know seven, eight houses. I don't, I don't remember, but it was so funny. I mean, we never got caught on that. No one, no one cared. Anyway, yeah, there was this house was I kept get caught on. What's that? You know, that was one of the few things we didn't get caught on. Right. And I remember walking six months later on this one house. There's still a little clay ball sitting on the window. I'm like, we'll they have looked out that window anytime soon. <laughs> the epitome of laziness. Right. Wasn't and, that the house we used to TP all the time, too? Oh, I don't remember. I think so. I, there was one, one neighbor house that me and you just did not like the person. Yeah, that was we that, well. We're going to get to it. That's what the skunk was. Yeah, we'll get to that. But yeah, we'll get to this. Name but not I, at all. I I just remembered something. This happened. I think we were sophomores in high school. I just remembered this. You're going to laugh your butt off. All right. So we were bored one night. I don't know. Maybe you were a junior. I don't remember. You had a car. That's all I knew. You had a car. So we're at least really sixteen. Okay. You had a car. Right. No, I had the car. We were in my dad's Volkswagen. Oh, oh no, 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 no. Yeah, no, we did that. No, 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 yeah. So, uh, no. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
So, no, no, no. so no, no, no. we're zooming no. up and down these streets, right? In our, in, well, it's kind of our neighborhood. It's a little bit off our neighborhood. And I had this idea. I was like, oh, dude, we've got to hit this garbage can. We've got to hit this garbage can. And he, oh. uh, okay, he was like, oh, no, 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 we can't do it. Yeah, we're going to do it. It's plastic. It won't hurt the car. So we, we go around the block, we hit it, we go, I, gosh, I bet you we were doing at least 45, 50 miles an hour when we hit the sucker, okay? Yeah, and a 20 mile, uh, 20 oh, mile yeah. an hour. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's 20 mile an hour zone, and it's right by an intersection, so as soon as you hit it, you got to slam on your brakes to turn and take off, okay? So we go down here, we hit the can, I see the lid fly over, I see garbage fly over, and then we just kept on going, and I was like, Oh, George, I think I broke the vehicle. He's like, what do you mean? Can't you hear that? Well, the plastic... All I heard was this. Yeah, I know. The plastic garbage can got stuck under the Volkswagen. We drug it for about a mile, pulled over. Gosh, what, 15 minutes trying to get the can out from under the Volkswagen. Threw it on some guy's lawn, okay? So we didn't even return the... We didn't even return the... Oh, my gosh, the, the garbage can. And then we slowly, slowly made our way back and come running down. Now, not only was the garbage in front of the house where the garbage can was up to their doorstep, it was across the street to the neighbor's house. We're, we're talking 50 yards of garbage when we hit this sucker. And we're like, okay, we're out of here. And uh, uh, we went on and did some more m probably mischief that night, but... Anyway, it was funny. I, 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 I you know, uh, what's that? We went and cruised the Vard after that. I oh, we always cruise the Vard. Oh my gosh! But yeah, there's a story there too. Anyway, I went back the next day, and there was like five people picking stuff up. <laughs> I was like, yeah, okay, I don't know nothing about it. <laughs> so talking oh, yeah. about cruising the Vard, Mister. All right, so I go down to his house once. All right, I go down to his house. Let me move this a little bit. I go down to his house once, and I'm like, okay. He goes, let's go cruise the I had my dad's bug, and he had his boat. I don't know, his blue boat Cadillac or something. That sucked gas. It got like four miles to a gas. Oh, easy four miles. Easy Terrible. four miles. Terrible. Oh, yeah. And so he goes, he goes, let's go drive the Vard. I said, dude, I don't have gas money for this. He goes, uh, don't worry about it. Yeah, don't I worry gotta, about it. And I'm like, what do you mean, don't worry about it? I mean, what, what, are you going to, like, conjure up a cloud and just fill our tanks? What the heck? He walks in. I'm not kidding you guys. He walks in, grabs the key. Now, hold on. Before I get started, I, I need to move this over. Yeah, we got we to gotta talk about where I grew up. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Okay, George, okay. Now, he wasn't, you, you, that, that, this was your stepdad, right? Right, it was my uncle, but it was yeah. Like, it was, okay, you know, it was it was the dad that raised me. So. Ba ba basically, anyway, I'm going the wrong way. That's that's my problem. Okay, sorry. Anyway, so here's here, here's the thing. It's a dad that raised him. Okay, and uh, well, his dad was a caretaker of a cemetery. So this boy grew up in a cemetery. Okay, I mean, his front yard... My social life wasn't the greatest. Yeah, <laughs> 15, yeah, 15 feet from his front door is a headstone. I mean, we're talking cemetery. Yeah, yeah, his his yeah, his yeah social life kind of sucked during high school. <laughs> Where do you live, cemetery? Yeah, I'm not golf, I'm out of here. Anyway, so he lived in the cemetery. So, with that there, he walks inside, he gets a key... And they have fuel pumps on site. And we're, I'm like, what are you doing? He says, oh, they'll never know. And so he pulls up my car. I pull up my car. He fills my tank. He pulls up his car. He fills his tank. And then we both go down and cruise the boulevard. I think we came up that night and filled up, what, three times? I don't know. All I know is that. Dude, it was at least 100 gallons between us, if not more. Yeah, they had no idea because they didn't. In their bright mentality, they didn't keep track of how much gas was in right. that tank. Right. Yeah, they would. They they they, they would. Knew, uh, they would stick me, it. I knew how to roll back the uh, dials because they were the right. old school ones. They weren't digital. Right. They were the old 
Oh, you have to understand, everything we've done was old school. This is way before technology. This is before cell phones, okay? So if you wanted to get a hold of him, you had to call him landline or drive to his house. You know, we had to we had to think of ways that we could keep ourselves entertained, you know, instead of being on our phone, video yeah. chatting, stuff yeah. like that. We didn't have that stuff. No, not know? at all. Not at all. So anyway, so this stuff, this stuff didn't exist. No, there was no cell phones. Like I said, if if I wanted to, if I wanted to call him, I had to use a landline. Or I had to drive to his house. That's that's how we communicated. There there was no, I mean when the I think the bricks, the big bricks first came out, and I was getting, I think I mean where they started selling. I mean they were huge, they were huge. I mean we're talking huge bricks, and they were in uh yeah. yeah. Like this back in the yeah, morning. that was it. That was the brick. And then you had the big brick car phone. Remember those? Oh my gosh, we've we've yep. seen a lot of stuff. We've seen microwaves. We've seen car phones. We've seen cell phones internet my gosh we've lived through it all you can sit in and out you know i get it get a better camera yeah that's okay it's good for today for next time. anyway so what oh 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 then i know that we uh we were messing with matches one day at your uh at the no uh, we won't talk about that one i think no? the one that we should talk about because everybody keeps asking about it okay what about the rubber cement? What about the tire? Okay. Well, okay. Well, it was a tire. So here, we'll talk, we'll, talk, we'll tell this tire story first, okay? And then we'll talk about the rubber cement. And then we'll talk about, well, you know. There's well, there's a so tire. There's a tire. There's a rubber cement. And there's a raccoon. Okay. So so my dad, because he, he, he worked at the cemetery, they had a shop that had a lift, air compressors, all that stuff, okay? Shane rode his bike down to my house, okay, to visit. And when he got there, his tire was flat. Flat. So I'm like, okay. He's like, well, let's go across the, the street to the uh, to the gas station and, and uh, fill up my, my thing. I'm like, Shane, why do that? My dad's got a air compressor right here. Oh, yeah. Goes, really? What else do you, do you have over here that, that is of interest? And I'm like, you don't want to know. So anyways... <laughs> We go in and I ask my dad, hey, can I use the air compressor? My, you know, my friend needs to, to fill his uh, bike tire up. And my dad's like, yeah, not a problem. You know, you know where the stuff is. Da, da, da. So we're in there and Shane grabs his tire and we start here, you know, we start filling it up and we get talking and Shane's, you know, just sitting there going. Doo, doo, doo. Well, I, I, I'm, 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 I, I'm feeling the tire. OK, and I know it's getting I know it's getting full. But I'm like, well, hey, you know, I want to get really hard so that I, you know, it's not gonna go flat. Yeah. Well, we're sitting there, and all of a sudden, boom! This oh. thing explodes on him. Dude, you know? it was it was like a miniature IUD or something. Entire building. Because and we my were sitting. Comes running over, what the hell? What are you guys doing? Oh, dude, because we were we were in the maintenance shop and it was empty. So when it blew up, it echoed. I mean, echoed. We had you also had your uh, uh, workers running from the um, casket area, with the cement coffin stuff. They ran over right. and found out what happened. They got there first. Your dad comes in. What the hell? Uh, kind of blew up the tire. Dude, he was pissed. He's like Shane. You go home. Yeah, I know. George, George, so I, we'll talk later. I know. Okay. I, was, I was like Some more manual labor for George. I know. I was like, wait a minute. I just blew up my tire. What the heck? And, and Dad came down and got me, and we took the bike home. But yeah, that. I mean, that. You know, look. You had to be there. Yeah, but the explosion. Yeah. yeah, the explosion. Your explosion itself just shook everybody. It, it was hilarious. I look back at now, and everybody's running, and we're just like, well, I didn't do it. <laughs> I didn't do yeah. nothing. Yet again, we both got grounded for something that... Oh, yeah. Yeah. You know, and then... Okay. It seemed like my parents, whatever excuse, you know, they blamed it on Shane or Shane's parents blamed it on me. So it's like we right. were screwed either way. You're screwed every way, right. Matter. And then... And then we're going to do the... Uh, gosh, which one should we do next? Okay, I, th I think the rubber cement story is more funny. So we'll do the raccoon. So one night, 
One night, me and George are walking home to my house. I don't know what we're doing because my mom didn't like him. Anyway, so we're walking home, and I'm not kidding you. We look on the side of the road, and we see this raccoon. It's in full rigor mortis. Arms and legs sitting straight out, straight out. So you could tip it over and stick it on its arm and leg, and its mouth is open, ah, and its tongue's hanging out. It's the most funniest thing. I still laugh today when I do this. So we went and got we got some cardboard because I didn't want to touch it. I don't know how long it's been dead there. It's been a couple hours. Anyway, so we got some cardboard, and there's a pre huh? You know, we didn't we, we didn't want to get pre corona. Yeah, us. yeah. Well, I don't know. Yeah, SARS or whatever you want to call it. So anyway, there's a guy that was in my neighborhood. You walk on his grass, he'd come out and just yell at you. You, you couldn't do it. You walk by his house, you had to walk on the other side of the street, or else you could get yelled at. The whole works, right? So we That's snuck up. We like yeah, we didn't like him. So we took this raccoon. And we stuck it on his porch. It wasn't a raccoon, Jane. It wasn't a raccoon. It was a skunk. Was it a skunk? It was a skunk. It wasn't a raccoon. It was a skunk. Well, yeah, you might be right. Yeah, it might be. Yeah, yeah. Maybe, maybe that's why I didn't want to. Anyway, so so a raccoon or skunk, whatever it was. Okay. Oh, yeah. His mouth is teeth sticking out, tongue hanging out. So we stick it on his porch, and I bang on his door and ring his doorbell. And I have to set this up. You have his lawn, you have the sidewalk, then you have the street, then you have the neighbor's uh, sidewalk, and then there was like a, a little hill that went down. So we ran across the street and hid behind this hill. So it took him about a minute. He had, turns on the lights, he comes down, he opens the door, he's looking around. I mean, he's looking around, he sees the skunk. Oh my gosh, he must have been a quarterback. Man, he backs up. He saw that. He kicked that sucker almost off his lawn. I mean, it almost went to the street. And we're all there giggling. And then he heard us, and he started yelling at us. Damn, kids, come here. I Oh, where's your mom? Rah! Oh, yeah. Then we took off running. So, yeah, that was, dude, I tell you what, I haven't laughed so hard in such a long time. That was hilarious. That was hilarious. We're just little vandals, guys. Just, just. We, we just did stuff that we if we were to do this shit now, oh, we'd be in jail. <laughs> we would be in jail for a long time, you know. But, oh, big time. Yeah, we, we did, you know the skunk. The skunk thing was like I had no idea what he's gonna do with it. Okay, I, right. I, I thought he was gonna take it home, taxidermy it, put it up in his house. I don't know what he was gonna do with the damn thing. Right. But next thing I know, he's putting this thing on the doorstep, and I'm going, "What the hell?" Are you doing? <laughs> yeah. Well, you know. <laughs> what are you doing? I says, I'm going to get grounded again. He goes, no, yeah. nobody will know about this incident. And I'm like, and you know what we did? We did. We got away with it. He didn't call anybody. He didn't know who we were. Yeah, we didn't We didn't get in trouble for that one. So No. So, Mark went up. which leads us to high school, which we're already in high school. So, here, here it is. Now, now th th this is, I, I, I might have to stand up and do some some reaction on this one, but... So the, the second thing is is uh, so what we did. Well, we have to lead up to how we acquired. Right. The, well, the I will. Well, you somehow. Were a teacher's aide. Teacher's, teacher's aid. Yeah. Well, hold on. Well, first of all, the conversation came down. Somehow, does rubber cement burn? Somehow, that conversation came up. I said, that No, it does. Not, it doesn't burn. Huh? I says it does burn, Shane. I've tested it. it yeah, burns. and I was like, I was no. That, I was the one that was the pyro man. I I loved playing right. with fire. Well, I did too. I just didn't do it as much as you did. <laughs> <laughs> Which we'll tell about the. Yeah, the we got. Yeah, we got so that. that. We got us grounded for almost. I don't know how long. Oh, that, that one sucked. So anyway, I'm a teacher's aide in my senior year of high school. Okay, and he tells me rubber cement can't burn. Well, we did a double whammy with the rubber cement. So anyway, first thing is I was like, well, I'm going to try to get away with this. So under another teacher's name, I came down. And he says, yeah, this guy's going to do some art stuff. He needs a case of rubber cement. They had the case up there. I signed some somebody else's fictitious name, different teacher, grabbed the case of rubber cement, took it to my locker, locked it up. Okay. All right. So I tell George, I got the rubber cement. You got to come over to the house tonight. He goes, okay, I'll be there. I'll be there, he said. 
Yeah, I asked him how much he got. He goes, so a case? A case. Okay. Yeah, yeah, there was. I was expecting maybe two or three bottles. Yeah, of down, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There was like 12 bottles in it. And, and you know, they, they were the, you know, they were the good-sized bottles. They, they, size bottles. They yeah, were they huge. were fat. Yeah, there's 12 of them in there. So I tell him, come over tonight, and we'll we'll see. And so we get over there, and I grab I I got the case out of there. I had it, hit it under my coat or something, and got it out of there. Anyway, back now I have to put this up. Back where I used to live, you there's trees and houses down. You can't really see it now, but you used to could look over the houses that were there, and you could see the hill coming down, so you could see when a car was coming. And, like, and a lot of cars would come up into our neighborhood. So uh, we're like, okay, so this is what we're going to do. So we took the rubber cement and poured it out from gutter to gutter in the street. Now, I'm not, it took all 12 to do it. And it was, you know, it, 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 it settled down a little bit, but it was about an inch high all the way across. So. George, George, here comes a car. I was like, really? Here comes a car. I said, okay, let's wait. And I could see it turning, so we lit it. Okay, rubber cement's not as bad as gas, but it took about a minute, and the whole street is now on fire. On fire. Right where we put the rubber cement. I'm laughing. By the time it caught, here comes a car around the corner, and there was little bushes right there by it we hid in. Oh, my gosh, dude, this is hilarious. Dude, I, I every time I think vehicle. of this. Okay, here's the curb and the curb. Yeah. And the a line, line of fire here to here. A line of fire, and it's it's burning. It's burning this high. It's 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 burning six to eight inches high. Okay, and it's making light across the road. So we we're hiding in the bushes. This guy comes up. He sees it. He stops his car. Okay, I don't know who this guy was. To this day, I don't know who it is. I feel sorry for the guy now. He gets out. And <laughs> he stops. He starts the- stopping. He's, he's he's trying to st- glue. It's not going to go anywhere. <laughs> so he's stopping. He's stopping on the rubber cement. Now his feet are on fire. We're over there dying. Okay, I'm on. I'm on my back laughing. George is laughing. This guy is like trying to put this out every time he keeps on stepping on the rubber cement. There's more fire on his feet. Then he has to walk away to try to get the fire out. He does this six or seven times. We were hiding in the the neighbor's. Uh, yeah, there's little uh, bushes. It was right where the corner was. And there were some bushes right there with some tall trees. And we were high behind the trees. You could go you could go around the sidewalk and then we could go in a little bit and hide behind the trees and the bushes right there. And we were rolling. And then he figured out he heard laughing. And then he came chasing down us. Man, we took off down the sidewalk and hauled butt. I didn't we go up to the horse corral and hide in the barn for like like twenty minutes? We, we cruised up to the sand dunes. And oh, we went to Sand Hills, okay. And then yeah. up into this. Uh, uh, sand, sand Hills, yeah. Oh, dude. Dude, we waited. That was our hiding place when we were kids. This is yeah. Anyway, we came back down. He was long gone. And we were, st- dude, talk about laughing. Okay, number one, this guy's an idiot. I, I have to put that out. That was an idiot. Okay, you don't go stop off a fire. And then you put your feet on fire. I mean, dude, when he was stopping the fire, every time he put his foot down, there was a there was a fire ring of his shoe. I mean, it looked it, it was hilarious, dude. I, I I wish I wish I wish we could have YouTube this. If I remember right, every time he stopped uh, stomped on it, and he would pick up the rubber cement where he would step, there yeah, would be fire there. Yeah, there'd be fire everywhere. All, all by his door of his car, all the way to the front of his car, there was fire. Oh, it was hilarious. And then when, when and now rubber cement doesn't burn very long, but it does burn a muff. And, and and every time you want to put oxygen and step on it, it flares back up. It was hilarious. That that is the priceless story. Now, if you guys are going and, and trying this, you didn't hear this from us. No, no. For look at look at you, you can't you, you, from us. you can't do anything we say here. No, don't do it. You'll get in trouble. There's, I'm going to put a disclaimer up. I'm sorry. You can't do this. Anyway, no. So, yeah, we had, uh, 
you know what? We had good times. We had very good times as kids. My God, we oh shit. Uh, the other rubber cement story was uh, oh now, yeah. I I um I went back. What was it, a week later? Now now guys, don't do this at all. If you're in high school, you should be watching this anyway. So knock it off. Anyway, so I there was a girl I was dating, and she was. Um, I don't know. I think she starts seeing another guy. I don't know what happened. Ooh. But her locker was very so romance. So so precious. I know, right? So precious. We should we should play music right now, but anyway. Anyway, so so anyway, we had uh this girl's date and I don't know what happened. We broke up or we're breaking up or I don't know. Her locker I had her come to her locker because her locker was very close to some of my classes. I just throw my book my books in there when I went. Well, we start breaking up, and I was like, oh, no. No, no, no. We now know rubber cement burns. You guys see where this is going. So during break, I went to my locker, got the rubber cement. This is, it was just one bottle. I spread it over her books. I spread it over her. Everything she had in the locker had rubber cement. And then at the very bottom of the locker, very bottom of the locker, I uh, lit it. And, well, you know, lockers got those vents in there, and it had enough oxygen. I burned her locker down. I, I, it, 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 it's, it, it, it's been over 30 years. Is, is, is he statue of limitations? Is that, is that over with? Okay, so we can tell the story. I don't anything, but, you know. Oh, yeah. So, anyway, you got anything else there, George? That we can tell real quick that was funnier than hell. I mean, those were the highlights. Ah, uh, we did have. Now I, I'm I'm gonna tell this last story, George, and, and you were there. He was driving. I'm gonna tell this last story because when we have someone else on the podcast, he's gonna tell almost identical same story, and we'll leave it at that. But here it goes. We I had found or was given a fire extinguisher that you could charge with air. And he had all the air and all the equipment over at the at the cemetery. So we filled up full water, charged it up, and I sat on the passenger side, he sat on the driver's side. And we were looking for people to spray. I mean, that, that's nothing new. This has been happening for years, okay? I, I've heard many stories. Anyway, so while we're going, this guy rolls down his window. I see his other passenger window is open. And I tell George, I said, when I say now, you gun it. And George's like, okay. So I lift up the hose right to the window seal, and I'm ready to press the pressure. This guy lights a cigarette, takes a good puff off it, and leaves it in his mouth. The light turned green. I hit the water. That water hit him right in the face, took the cigarette, and shoved it out the passenger window. <laughs> it was gone. I, George, go. And he starts going. This guy followed us, what, six blocks? Chasing us. He followed us from 24th Street to 12th Street. Oh, my gosh. Chasing us. I mean, just chasing us. Holy crap. Well, I, th I thought we were going to die. I thought we were going to die. But when I have someone else on the show, uh, I we, we will go back to the fire extinguisher store. Uh, I, I will tell you that now. But anyway. But anyway, yeah, that's... You know what? We were kids. We were in school. We had fun. And, uh, yeah, you know what? I, I think we had we had a fun childhood. Uh, you could cut out the grounding part, but besides that, yeah, we had a fun childhood, and yeah. there was there was uh, a lot the of stuff. Grounding was not the fun part of the whole thing, you know. No, um, I still hate reading to this day. <laughs> yeah, right, right. My parents didn't whip my ass. Okay, they they didn't do a yeah a chores. Whip my ass, but I did manual labor for the shit that we did. Yeah, well. Okay? My, my, Should we talk about the bowling alley incident? No, no, we'll leave that one alone. We'll, we'll leave that, that one alone. One yeah, day. we'll leave that one for another day. All but, I'll say is this uh, was uh, an incident that I got grounded for the entire summer and ended up painting the outside perimeter of the city. Oh, yeah, I remember, too. I remember it, stopping it, it, in my car. It, I remember stopping in the Volkswagen and saying, hey, George, can you? what are you doing? I'm grounded. i got to paint the fence. <laughs> I remember that, yeah. We were always grounded for something. 
Anyway, George, hey, I want to thank you for being on today. This was awesome. Thank you so much. I hope uh, I hope you're having a good day down there in Mesquite. I know you got to work tonight. Anyway, George, thank you so much for ha uh, having you. Uh, give me a second, and I, I'm I'm gonna close this down, and then we'll uh, we'll talk on Discord, okay? All right, all right. Thanks, guys. Guys, thanks for coming in. Our first little podcast. We're just you know this is our first one. We're looking to see what went well, what didn't go well, and you got a little bit of stories from my childhood and his childhood and. Yeah. Okay. But guys, thank you so much. And uh, we will see you soon.